Welcome back to Art at Home with Miss Lindstrom. You should now have your character mind map and your story mind map. Today we are going to put together your story into a comic strip. Let's get started. Our learning target is I can develop a comic strip story about my character. Many artists create stories in their work. Some artists create stories by using comic strips. Now that we watched a little intro to creating comic strips, we are going to work on step number three. We have our character, and you should have brainstormed ideas in the last two videos. For today, we're going to start by planning our story. I want you to start by drawing three boxes. You can do this in pen or pencil, but on a plain sheet of paper. Now, this might look a little familiar to you because we used the same brainstorming technique when we did our flip books. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to plan out the beginning, middle, and end. And you can even write that down underneath if that is helpful. When you develop your final story, you can definitely have more than three boxes. But this is just going to help us get started. I'm going to start by jotting down notes under the parts of the story to help me lead through it. 
Then I will start adding characters and then speech bubbles. This will just be a draft. Next video, we will learn how to finalize and complete your comic book story. Now, as I do that, I want to remember that my character is Zippy. I'm going to jot that down. And then you'll see as I figure out and brainstorm what Zippy is going to do in my comic book. Here is the start of my story. So one day, Zippy was at the beach, eating an ice cream cone. Then, all of a sudden, a loud pop! And her ice cream cone disappeared right out of her hand. Now, I will have to include some frames showing Zippy looking around for her ice cream. And then she finds out that the fish are eating it and they stole her ice cream with magical ice cream stealing powers. Now. 
at the end, I will probably have to also show, um, I think, maybe Zippy's friend buying her a new ice cream cone. No. You can change the story if you want to. Maybe I will change the fish into like a magical mermaid or something like that. Mermaid. And make myself a note so that in my final, instead of drawing fish, I can draw a mermaid underwater. Because that makes more sense if she has magical powers to pop it right out of her hand. And there is my draft of my comic book. Now, I might want some speech bubbles coming from the fish or mermaid. I might want one from Zippy. You can put that in later as well. So make sure you have your full plan in the next video, I will show you how to finalize your comic strip. Let's recap. Our learning target is I can develop a comic strip story about my character. Please make sure you upload a photo to Google Classroom or Artsonia when you are completed so I can check out your work so far. Have a great day.